Clark attack in the first place? Because I was blackmailing him. With what? I found out he used to go by another name. <laughs> Bennett Thompson. How'd you know that Clark used to be Bennett Thompson? Uh, Langston, is this young man going to be escorting you to the wedding? I'm in. Well, good. Go home. Get into a suit. <sighs> Lang, we, we need to talk. Really? What's there to talk about? I mean, I'm sure that uh, you're just as thrilled as I am that Langston is moving on from that dreadful vile Robert uh, Ford. All right, let's not talk about that, please. Okay, but this young man, on the contrary, shows up here, actually comes to the door, mingles with your family, unlike, once again, that vile Robert Ford. You know, it's funny because James is Ford's brother. Clark already tried to kill me once. How do I know that if I blow his cover, he won't try to finish me off? Give me something I can use, or he won't be able to get to you. Did you know Clark has been at Thompson before you came to Landview? Hey, come on, man. Help me get this guy off the street. We met Clark when he was been at Thompson, and he never came out and admitted that he went by that name. How'd you know about this other identity? I had an affair with his wife. Star, did you really need to do that? I was just telling the truth. Well, I, I didn't mean to upset you. No, it's perfectly all right if this young man is indeed Robert Ford's brother. Then I ought to know. Now that I look at you, I do see the resemblance. Langston, I need to have a word with you. No, you don't. James is nothing like his brother. James almost got Star killed. Dorian, can I have a word with you, please? All right. Thank you. Okay. Wait, Star. Where are you going? Look, I'll, I'll see you at the wedding. Or not. Is that what you wanted? <laughs> to make sure that Langston didn't have a date to the wedding? I don't want Langston to get hurt. No worries, Twinkle. I'm not the hurting kind. Don't think you can fool me. You're only going out with this boy so that you can make his brother jealous. It was a few years ago in L.A. I had just gotten out of film school. So you met this woman in L.A.? That's where Clark was living at the time, under the name Thompson. But if you never met him, how do you know that Eli Clark and Bennett Thompson are the same person? Her name was Olivia, and she loved hooking up at their house. There were pictures of her husband in every room, all 20 rooms, actually. So when Clark was in L.A., you had a lot of money? No, the money came from Olivia. The woman was loaded. Still in touch with Olivia Thompson by any chance? No, she ended it out of the blue, disappeared. What do you mean, disappeared? Well, I called, left messages, tried to track her down, and I couldn't. I even went to their house. Were you scared if Eli answered the door? No, I didn't care about that. But the place was deserted. It was like she vanished off the face of the earth. You're on my case for trying to make someone jealous? What have you been doing with David for months? We're not talking about me, we're talking about you. You're using Robert Ford's brother to get him back. Why can't I just want to go out with him? I mean, James is a really nice guy. He's nice, smart, funny, hot. I mean, he's Robert Ford's brother. Think, that's the man who used you and then threw you aside. How do you know that trait doesn't run in the family? It's one date, and I'm keeping it, whether you like it or not. So did you meet Clark's wife? Well, like I said, I was in L.A. Film school. John, I need to... What's he doing here? Police business, not now, Kelly. Uh, you should really see Yes, I take a seat. I'll be with you in a moment. You were talking about how you met Clark's wife. Yeah, um... Well, one of my film school buddies 
Got me invited to this opening at an art gallery. Olivia was a collector. Gorgeous, sexy as hell. We got to talking about this picture, and before I knew it, we were back at their place, lying on some very high thread count sheets. Did she talk about Clark that night? Yeah, you mean Bennett Thompson? Right, Bennett Thompson. Yeah, she talked about him too much. How great it was when they first met, and then it turned out that all he wanted was her money. Well, let me Clark here. You recognize him as the man in the photos in Olivia's house. When was that? When David Vickers decided that he wanted a piece of my internet reality series, so we got this lawyer involved. The guy introduced himself as Elijah Clark, but I knew him to really be Bennett Thompson. I tried to call him out on it, but he denied it. And I said I'd go to the DA, the commissioner. That's when I knew he had something to hide. I was willing to pay to keep you quiet. Yeah. Listen, I was really desperate for some cash to get my brother away from our dad. So he decided to blackmail him and almost ended up dead. Yeah. Yeah, and Clark said if I talked, he'd go after my brother, too. Hey there. We weren't formally introduced. I'm Eli Clark. Something the matter? Hey, did John tell you why we need cops standing outside our door? Not really, but it has something to do with Hannah. Hannah? Did she break out of St. Anne's or something? Is she coming after us? You're not serious, right? But she's messed up, Cole. Yeah, and she's also innocent. Look, it's true. She didn't do any of those things that you or your father accused her of. Not one. Did John tell you himself that Hannah was innocent? Not in those words, but he's still in the middle of an investigation. But he made it very obvious that Hannah wasn't the one that pushed my mom down the stairs. Oh, great. So as far as you're concerned, she's done nothing wrong? Look, I didn't say that. Okay, but Hannah didn't go after my mom, and I'm pretty sure she didn't attack Ford either. Okay, well, she still lied through her teeth. She almost had my dad convicted of a crime that he didn't even commit, and she had you convinced that I was sleeping with James. If you think that I'm just gonna let her off the hook, forget about it. She tried everything in her power to try to break us up, and she almost succeeded. Star. What? Star, I'm not asking you to forgive her for that. Okay, then tell me one thing. If she didn't push your mom down the stairs, and if she didn't attack Ford, then who did? I think you know my brother. Oh, really? Who's your brother? Robert Ford. Oh. Oh, I bet you... Bobby told you I was bad news, didn't he? Matter of fact, he did. You saw what that man did to Langston, and now she wants to date his brother, who is nothing like him. Okay, it, it, brothers can be completely different. They're not like exact replicas. Look at Ross and Eli. Well, they're the exception rather than the rule. Ross could go ballistic. Eli's calm, cool, and collected. Yeah, see, Dora? But I'm not finished. It's not the fact that they're brothers that bothers me. It's the fact that that boy in there carjacked my daughter, took her on the run, and almost had her killed. Thanks. All right. So I'll be assigned to your brother. Clark won't be able to get to him. I'd feel better if he was behind bars. He would have been. You hadn't lied to us. If you'd come in to us sooner... I'm here it... now, okay? And I've told you all I can. But you can't tell us where Olivia Thompson is, can you? I... I told you, I have no idea. She disappeared without a trace. And you didn't think to go to the police then, either. I figured she ran because Thompson found out she'd been cheating, and I didn't want to make things worse for her by going to the cops. Oh, you were trying to protect her. Yeah, and myself, too, okay? I admit it. But who knew that somewhere down the line, her husband would end up making me look like one of the good guys?